Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. As soon as I set my input back to HDMI 1, the TV, Mario will soon stop freezing. Besides, I think he'd be fine either way. Hey, he's endured cold climates before. He's pretty solid. Right on. Just before I make myself look bad, checking. And yep, it's recording. I probably made myself look bad either way. Well, not bad, but rather. You know, That's a mean. bit goofy. Then again, everyone is in their own way. Yes. I don't know. Totally. Ah, uh, trouble in paradise. Oh, hello, what's this? And? Before we, uh, exit out of the binocular. Hang on, I want to reset. Yep, that's a secret path. There. Shop's there for right now. Memory serves me back. Could be a seat around here. Again, this is a very, very killed and big game. Oh, some regional points. Lava. Oh look, it's Captain Toad.
Treasure chest. Regional coin shop. Corey. Corn there was a key around here. Here for that, uh. For this. For these four players. Yes, there are four seeds. Getting a good view. Four pipes. Alright, we'll be on our merry way. Dawdled a little too long. And I wanted to do this. And, uh, being those small micro goom. I think I still have a picture of that. But just in case. Fortunately, I know where this hint art is. Jump! That's one seed in the planter. And not yet. We won't be wearing this this outfit it while we're uh, dealing with the uh, bubble lane's problem. This is a job for a plumber. Fortunately, Mario is one. I mean, people are still freaking out about Mario not being a plumber. Or he was a plumber to begin with. He was still a plumber. Plumber, like because the description said. Appears to have worked as a plumber a long time ago. Like saying Sonic fought Eggman a long time ago. Yeah, we'll come back to that. Yep, definitely a job for a plumber. Well, let's see. Yeah, I know how it works. I just want to investigate the mechanism behind it. Oh man, this reminds me so much of Flood. I mean, I played this game before. This is my second playthrough. And 
yes, I know it's been a couple of months. Why? Because you're watching this in December. Try all you want, I will never surrender the delicious sparkling water! Some odd reason in my mind he sounds more of a, an angrier Antoine de Coulet, you know, from Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, he's in the comics, Finball. The post Genesis wave. Probably gonna get an IWK Sonic comic. They're not off the table. Ian Flynn said that. They won't be appearing... ...appearing anytime soon, but... ...they're not off the table. Well, at least for... 2018 and 20, 2019, I think. I don't know about 2019. Definitely tr the remainder of 2018, I think. He also sounds like that that one dude from Archer. In my mind too. Actually, yeah, Cappy's right. Well, time to fix the rest of the fountains. So, apparently, there's an unseen mechanism connecting those chains, apparently, from my guess. Now, I'll have to ask Mario this when I meet him at Nintendo World. He'd have a better idea. I mean, he's a plumber, and technically I'm just the guy behind the controller. He'd know more about this than I do. I also got a really cool screenshot. When the lava was still here. if we can still keep some of the lava. Some, not all. And of course, just shaking the Joy-Cons can help us move faster when we're like that. What? I like lava. I was interested in volcanic rocks for a, for a while and gemstones and how they're formed. Or, that's probably why Groudon was one of my favorite Pokemon on too. Still is. And the lava's all gone. Hey then. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I also really like doing actions with the by uh, shaking and moving the Joy Cons. I miss that since Galaxy. I also talked about the matter if Nintendo EPD could pull off a sequel. Oh, but I also mentioned that they could, uh... They'd also have to probably get a little more involved with uh, 1UP Studio. Formerly known as Brownie Brown. In case you are still not aware of who they are, they are the developers behind, uh... Well, they were originally played as Brownie Brown, known as, uh, developers behind, uh, Mario Hoops 3 vs. 3. And, uh, when the... And due to a natural disaster, which apparently Japan's very good at recovering for, they... Apparently have some sort of plan I don't know about. That's from what I've heard. Well, here's the thing. The public transport was kind of, uh... Slow for a while, which is surprising because I heard Japan has very, very good public transport. And that kind of delayed some of Nintendo's, uh, workers. Getting to, um... ...the work. On, like, Super Mario 3D Land. So they decide to... ...find a co-developer. And they chose Brownie Brown. Oh, very beautiful. Oh, no! Oh. I'm still gushing on the amount of detail. They put into the the graphics. <laughs> Eventually, Brownie Brown, after Super Mario 3D Land, got renamed into One Up Studio, and then they also helped work on Super Mario 3D World and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And, I think, for Mario Odyssey, too. Which we're- which I'm currently playing.
I'll tell you what, I cannot wait for the upcoming Pokemon. Let's go in 2019. Apparently, Junichi Mashida, one of the the head head developers at Game Freak, was uh talking about that they have planned for a system like Pokemon Bank that allow that'll probably allow us to uh, transfer our Pokemon from our 3DS games to the upcoming Nintendo Switch one in 2019. Speaking of 2019, I also plan on still playing this game. It is that good. And there are still some costumes still on the way since I'm re recording this in October. I mean, like, talk about how putting the Christmas decoration is out in that October? Heh. <laughs> Well, I recorded a video in October for December. Hate it. Okay, that ain't good. What we need now is the wedding peach me. Which I have currently with me. Checkpoint. I, I swear, Bowser Therapy Ask Me is like a more fun version of Doctor Doom and the Joker. Why the Joker? Because you don't know what he'll do next, and you don't know if it'll disturb you. And Doctor Doom, well, he rules a country with an iron fist. I don't like Bowser. Also, I think that's the real reason why Mario doesn't go over, over like the Peach's castle and say, "Hey, we need to do something about Bowser." I'm pretty sure they might have talked about that before, or but there's not much that they probably could really do without causing a massive war, which would cost the Mushroom Kingdom, well, of course, money, of course. Would it not? Ah, and Mario pretty much seems to enjoy his adventures. There is, so Peach probably takes the minor inconvenience. You know, for her kingdom. Never think about it that way, do ya? It's also one of the reasons why I like Mario so much. It can be so simple, 
get so deep. I really hope I do one day get to make a game like this. It would be my dream to make a Mario game, actually. And I will probably shoot for, for that dream. I mean, it didn't stop anyone else. Sure, it, there was parts that weren't easy. But did it happen with those who wanted to eventually make a Mario game that badly? Yes, it did. Look at David Soliani. Two developers that come from America... ...are actually in Nintendo EPD as we speak. Because they wanted to work on that game. One of them was the major level designer for Splatoon 2. In Splatoon 1, I think. And I... I think, without a doubt, they also had a hand in this game, too. Ew, I think one of the other developers also helped on the environmental, uh... ...effects for Breath of the Wild. I think. As far back as my memory goes. Oh, so those two really inspired me, along with David Soliani. Yeah, I mean, like, they're living the dream. Team. Like, I really hope they make something as beautiful as this one day. Hey, and you know what? I probably will. No, I just gotta get there. There. Heck! Maybe even you could do. Alright. Time to go swimming. As a fish. Just put bandages on it! It's a flesh wound! They'll be back. I mean, look, that guy just popped right back. I mean, it's a flesh wound. And I don't know Mario actually kills or not. Uh, he probably does what he has to. So, if that's the case, then I wonder if he sees therapy. Mega Man is like my second at Second, I wonder if this character goes to therapy. 
Again, Mario is also a doctor. And pretty smart. Okay, I take that back. Very smart. A love nest for eels. Mares. Yeah, definitely a hint of Mario 64's eels from there. You know, people are also saying, speaking of Pokemon, that Sinnoh re remakes are confirmed. Confirmed. Um, I don't know about that, but here's an interesting thought. What if they are confirmed, but it's like Pokemon Black and White 2, except they introduce all new Pokemon. Like another 150 or 1 or 20. I mean 70, not 20. Hey, that would be kind of ridiculous. Yes, don't get me wrong about Meltpan. Meltpan's just a teaser for Gen 8. And probably there to balance some things out. Now, there weren't really many skill types in Gen 1. I'm also glad that the fairy type also got it introduced. It really balanced things out with the dragon type. Yeah, just pressing A and X for B and Y. Or if. Yeah, A and Y, I works too. Wonder if X and B, yes it does. Gotta time it more. Pressing the, the Cappy button and, and the Jump button makes Mario swim faster as Cheat Cheat Mario, apparently. Does a little spin twirl. Take note, this is not an attack, just to swim faster. We'll get to the pyramid in a bit. Maybe later. Meltan will also be shown off in a movie. Oh no. Or fetch. They could show off another mythical Gen 8 Pokemon. Game Freak. Like, I'm really excited for what they have in store. 
They even have an RPG that's not even related to Pokemon for the Switch. Called Town at the moment. Alright, what was I doing? Oh, yes! I was heading to the crazy cat. Yeah, you can also grab coins and items by, uh, spraying water as, uh, what is this capture called? Gushin, Mario. Reminds me a lot of Flood. You can hover... And... And he sprays water. works a bit different. And the sound for the water refill sounds a lot like floods. Uh, it's a lot of this familiar sound effects I think got a bit reworked. Like the Goombas sounded pretty much the same up till 3D World. And then their little surprise sound effect got changed to, uh, that. Which is a nice little improvement. Where's the crazy cat? There it is. Oh, more regional coins. Yeah, I'm not going to get the resort hat yet, because there's another costume that holds a spe special place in my heart. And that will unlock something. Gotta get a few more regional coins.
Oh, that's why the music intensified. Walk it off, it's just a flesh wound. Considering on doing 3D land, maybe? But 3D world's a real safe if I have time. Because I might want to start poking around and with certain engines. Well, eventually, outside of uh, the Mega Mix engine. Can we reach Captain Toad from here? Yes, we can. Wow, that is... One heated campfire. Well, congrats on making it here, Captain Toad. I guess I'd land probably on your backpack or let me see oh hey maybe you could use whatever's in there as a cushion your fall or the tent as a makeshift uh, the meant makeshift parachute Or... Dive! Just try not to hit the shallow end of the water. I really liked how they encouraged exploration a bit more. Or, cause in past 3D Mario games, they even... I noticed that they... That, um... That they wanted to give players a, a sense of where to go. But here in Odyssey... It, it's themed more around exploration based on Mario 64. Or, in fact, Mario 64's exploration theme... theme actually helped kind of shape it a little. with its whole open world.
Oh right, it's nearby the hot springs. Why did I didn't push that button? Be on me. Concept of this little guy. It reminds me so much of Flood, but feels so different. Oh! Right near the eye! Is he moving slowly? Yeah, on my failed attempt at recording this, thank goodness for backup saves. Like my extra save files, I took a pretty epic screenshot. Mario's little, uh, fighting pose animation. Only enough Mario's, uh, face doesn't change. You know what? It's kind of a minor thing. Because, uh, I noticed in 3D World that his expression changes when he's about to approach a box. Ah, so you can't really see that detail. Oh, no, but Mario's very... very more expressive... throughout the rest of the game. Maybe he's just getting ready and pumped. Dump on him regularly. I like the life of parts that are floating, floating on the water. I also love this guy's boss scene. Stunned him! Okay, maybe a regular stomp is enough.
Got him. Always exploding. Typical when Bowser's minions are defeated, they they go up in a magical burst. Or poof. Or explode. then we're not heading out yet oh not yet that I'm sending in Greninja oh since the last part I really wish we had had more Pokemon amiibo like I'd like an Empoleon amiibo amiibo of my favorite Pokemon on it's a little far-fetched as an idea but if Pokemon rumble you cloud it before the concept of Amiibo was out there? <laughs> then why not? And again, Greninja could probably call that Empoleon or Lapras. Or any other water type Pokemon. Oh, right. There are two others we can send down to see. I'm gonna send out... Played Sonic 06, and but I never will. But this is for Sonic 06. That's for Sonic 06, Sonic. Resistance and, and, and the Freedom Fighters moving. Dang, heck, even the Chaotix. I need a moon. I'll also send out Cap. I'm not Captain Olimar, but Mega Man. I mean, he's a robot. He... I don't think he needs to breathe. Besides, he's been underwater... underwater sections before. Or, I mean when his circuitry was exposed too, according to the Archie Mega Man comic. Okay, that's apparently how advanced... Mega Man is. The Robot Masters are. No, I still don't have the Mega Man 11 ami amiibo. I still have to get that from a scalper. However, I have to wait because obviously. Well, obviously. I'm a bit low on funds. I also start working with with uh, Unity and many other engines. Even try to create my own. 
once I get a certain cable and maybe another monitor, because what I've got is from an old Bell Dimensions. And I'm gonna need a special cable to hook that up to the graphics card I got. I was also thinking on building a computer from scratch when I... if I have the cash. You know, just get a motherboard. Or the components. I know I'm missing something and I can't list them all. Oh, the hard drive connecting wires, the hard drive, the power unit. The power button, and I'm gonna see if I can make it out of, uh, repurpose an old Dell, old Dimensions cases. For it. <laughs> Hopefully the motherboard will fit. Apparently I've got, not like, some of the, uh, little, uh, ports from, on the side, the PCIL ports from my, uh, from the Dell 2. I've pretty much stripped it to bare bone, but I may have to, like, drill some of the rivets. Once that's done, I can start putting all kinds of things in there. Holy moly, Cappy was right. Not surprisingly. Wait, what happened to the controller? Oh. Maybe just a little hiccup. Now, where does this lead to? Oh, the Lake Kingdom! Well, at least we get an extra moon! Ozzy also follows us. Us. I think that thing is sentient in a certain way. Because hey, I've seen it... It's little light... Shutter flick on and off and blink. Plus it doesn't have a steering wheel, really. Maybe that could be exploring the sequel? If Nintendo's willing to do it? Or has any plans? No. If they use the Odyssey again. And again, they could have. They could also probably make a whole new 3D Mario game. If they wanted to. But that's a huge if.
Alright, time for a defibrillator. However that little electric thing works. Just do your magic, Pikachu. Bingo. Yes, that was the me about. Got it! See where they're at. I am really loving these pixel things, the pixel 2D section. I wouldn't mind to see a uh, 16 bit version themed after Super Mario World if, they, if Nintendo EPD does a sequel. To this game. I'm saying it's possible. But what I'm saying is... Is I also... Don't expect it anytime soon. And we kicked the shell the wrong way. Perfect. Oh wait. I'm wrong. Regional coins. Feels a little like Mario, the first Super Mario Brothers. Players. Well, more like Super Mario Maker's physics, or Super Mario Brothers. I do notice those physics change, but that's for kind of the better. Ooh. Oh no, no! My mic was tipping over, I'm sorry. Do I need to play that little scene from the South Park thing? I'm sorry. Like, the we're sorry.
Okay, now I get it. <laughs> Got it! I have a strange feeling Greninja and some other Water-type Pokémon on went there. All right, time for the others. Yep, that was definitely Mega Man's work. I definitely see a Mega Man circuits and uh, sensors working to find that little hidden area. Okay. I don't know if Sonic was fast enough to go through that. Maybe Tails. He has that little marine thing of Sonic 4. Like, I totally see him scaring Antoine with that. Save it for later. I think this video's been long enough.
Well, that's it. I'll see you in the next part, everybody. Bye-bye.